when I got my break to get to Nickelodeon, I had a woman who adopted me. She was 20 years older than me. She'd gone to my college, Vassar College, and Bernice had been in the broadcast industry and seen how bad it was for women. So she decided cable was gonna be good for women. So she opened the door for me at Nickelodeon. I got the job, I got, I clawed my way to the top. Not, I did not claw my way to the top. <laughs> um, and every time she would call me and send me a woman, I would meet them, I would hire them, I would promote them, and by the time I left the cable industry, we had 20 women presidents of cable networks because one woman had a vision that we could make a difference by supporting each other. Eradicate the image that women don't help each other. We're gonna just shut it down, we're gonna go on Good Morning America, we're gonna invite all our friends, and we did. And then we did it around the country in 12 different cities. And about the same time, Vital Voices was coming into its own power. And they would bring about 50, 30 to 50 mentees to my apartment every year. And we'd talk about what's so great about women, and which is a delightful topic. <laughs> um, some of you know her as Gabby, and some of you know her as TC. But, uh, you know, I'll take any of those names. Uh, but, you know, it's just an amazing thing to see how this has grown. First there were 50, then there were 100, and then there were 160. And it's one of those things, you just have a little idea, and it just takes off, and people love it. And I have to say, I hope that each and every one of you will make walking and mentoring a practice. You don't need to have an organized mentor's walk. You can just go with your friends. Team management is the model today, and women are naturally geared to team management. We don't toot our own horn. We don't celebrate what we do. We don't take credit for our ideas. We are humble. And my advice to women always is, if you cannot toot your own horn, toot another woman's horn, because she will toot your horn. And I always oriented to trying to find out what I like about you. And it, it's a great thing for a manager, because you can help develop your people by really studying them and finding what they're good at because frankly people are not very good at figuring out what they're good at. They take what they're good at they take for granted. I've always uh, had to do a process and it's called the artist's way and when I start getting stuck I do this practice of morning pages where you get up a half an hour earlier, my New Jersey friend, <laughs> you get up a half an hour earlier and you write stream of consciousness. And usually the first four days is filled with spew for me. Just every horrible thing anybody's ever done gets on the page. And then after four days, you can't do that anymore. It's, it's parked, it's gone. And you start, your brain starts getting more tactical and you start being the best organized person you've ever been. And then about three months into this pr practice, you start unveiling layers of what do you really want to do. And the only way you can get over that is a big fat failure. <laughs> and the first big fat failure I had was so magnificent I learned so much from that, so much more than I would have learned from something that was successful, that honestly, I've failed a, quite a number of times. And I always get this big grin on my face because you learn more and you get better. Why do I mentor? Because I get smarter.
I learn something from every single person I talk to, and it's fun. But I also believe that we have to stick together. We have to, we have to change this world. We have to change the way we do things. We can't rely on antiquated models of leadership. Women change things because we are inclusive, collaborative, nurturing, thoughtful. We care about providing great products. We care about uh, doing great work. We care about serving. You know, it's so I hope that you will think of yourself as a lifetime mentor and you cannot be a lifetime mentee, but you can be a lifetime mentor. And uh, I hope you'll do that. This year I got to be the vice chairman of Vital Voices, which is um, <laughs> tremendously exciting to me. And Vital Voices I've watched for many, many years. It started in the Clinton administration with uh, Hillary at Beijing and wanting to make sure that our vital voices around the world were heard and nurtured and celebrated. We are now at a point in our organization where we have directly trained 18,000 women who are out there training other women. We have reached millions of women. So today, 160 uh, walks, let's say there are as many people there as there are here, that is a whole lot of women who are out in the world who know that they have the power to make change and for a purpose.